Welcome back to Championship Court. Riley Bonard and Richard Livernese Jr. serving first against Kyle Kazuda and Nicole Eugenio. Oh, defense. Again. Third time. Oh, oh Kazuda into the stands. He's okay. <laughs> Says, I'm he goes, good. He goes, I'm all right. I'm all right. And listen, if that first point is any indication of how this match is going to be, we're in for a treat. Wow. Great defense from <laughs> everyone. Eugenio getting those back, and then Kazuda can't get the last ball. Great angle there oh. from Richard Lievernese. Doesn't get. This is, this is why we can't <laughs> have nice things, Kyle. <laughs> Kyle's breaking everything over here. I didn't get the point, but gets to keep his face in the process. Great effort. You can't fault it. Point goes to Bonert and Livernese Jr. Good angle there from Eugenio. Get back on serve. Missed return, even at one apiece. Kazuda and Eugenio took out the top seed of Jill Braverman and Rob Nunnery in three to start off our stream action today in the quarterfinal. Nice inside out there from Kazuda. They slid it right down the line on the forehand side. And Kazuda called his paddle a weapon after the quarterfinal match. Oh, nice look. step across there from Eugenio. Look out. Eugenio, again, so aggressive. Both of them on each other's drive. They come in and crash. A little shake and bake action. Eugenio puts that ball away. The aggressive action is how they caught Braverman and Nunnery on their heels in game number one of their quarterfinal. Oh, look at Kazuda again going right at the body of Livernese. Four straight points now for Kazuda and Eugenio. Missed third, second serve on the way. Big attack. Way to hang with it, but Eugenio steps in for the drive. Yeah, big attack by Eugenio again, not letting that ball bounce, taking it out of the air through transition area. I feel like we've seen more swinging volleys over the course of the first two days as that spins wide and Bonert and Livernese Jr. are going to call a timeout as they trail by five here early on. Dumb, how have Kazuda and Eugenio gotten Bonert and Livernese Jr. off balance? Well, again, it's that organized chaos that they talked about in our post-match interview and what they do so well. And they did it to Braverman and Nunnery, and now they're doing it again here in the semifinal against Bonert and Livernese. So, again, it's being aggressive not changing your game plan, right? And you have so many teams that come in and they're like, okay, this is who we're playing. We have to do this against them. That's plan B. Plan A is play your game. Do what got you there. Do what you guys do best. If they can stop that, then let's figure something out. But don't go in and say, I got to change my game to fit this. Play your game, then adjust if they can, they can stop you playing your game. Bonard and Livernese Jr. played their game in their quarterfinal matchup. Got through that one in straights, two and seven. Sails long as out of the timeout, able to earn the side out, but still trailing by five. Good yeah. job by Eugenio on the drop step. Yeah, it's a dangerous lob right there by Boner because of the fact that Eugenio's left-handed, right? So that's going over her left shoulder. So all she has to do is drop step and get that out of the air. Beautifully done by Eugenio.
Patience on both sides. The point goes to Bonard and Livernese Jr. Well, let me hold that point, Eugenio. I was trying to I talk to Kazuda going, <laughs> Ouch. She wasn't really sure if it was. 2-6-2. Another point back to back as they've cut the deficit in half. Riley Bonert, 19 years old, from Louisville, Kentucky. Nice pickup. Oh, and <laughs> A little Lever net cord love. Yeah, Lever needs is going to let that ball go, but he tries to get his paddle down, but off the tape and into the paddle. Service error. Body bag from Livernese Jr. Well, you see Kazuda, as soon as he moves to the side, he knows Livernese holds that ball so well, almost sees Kazuda slide to the middle and goes to that left shoulder. Kazuda trying to tell Eugenio that that ball was going long, but she pulled it into the net. A little touch. Second serve. Second serve coming. Love that little drop shot right there from Kazuda. That's a good one right there because he disguises it so well. Missed return. That drop from Kazuda had a little Alcaraz flair to it. Oh, Kazuda was there but pulled it into the tape. Another point. And we've seen Kazuda do that in game two of the quarterfinal against Rob Nunnery and Jill Braverman. That's you know where he went into a funk in the second game and they lost that one was where he was really trying to do a little too much with some of those higher balls and then into the net. This match has been a game of runs. It was Kazuda and Eugenio, much like they did in their quarterfinal matchup, running out to the early five-point lead. But since then, Livernese Jr. and Riley Bonert have answered with a five-point run. What's been the biggest difference over the last five points? Well, Bonert and Livernese have figured out how Kazuda and Eugenio are going to play. You have Bonert and Livernese pretty much mainstays all year long not even with each other but sometimes with other partners as well in quarters and, and sometimes into the semis so they know and people know their game Kazuda Eugenio don't really see them a lot haven't seen a ton of them so almost that shock factor of not seeing someone's game and trying to figure that out I think Lieberniz and Boner have figured it out a little bit now they're making adjustments good adjustments of the pace that Kazuda and, and Eugenio want to play. And Kazuda made a run in Newport Beach when we were here in July. Made it to the quarterfinals, or the, the semifinals rather, of the men's doubles. Ended up falling to Will Howells and Patrick Kotka. Just wide, side out. So a good timeout taken by Kazuda and Eugenio. That's a good eye right there from Boner, letting that ball go. Kazuda just a little too much off balance to roll that in. End up being a little too flat. Lever knees stepping up, standing a little too upright right there on that roll. Goes into the net. Oh, off paced Ernie right there from Kazuti. Doesn't pound that down really hard. Just hits the spot nice and low. Causes the miss hit from Lever knees. Two quick points for a two point advantage. Side out.
they've got to go behind Kazuda. He's so far in the middle. All you have to do is drop a ball to, the, to his left foot. That's all you have to do. You don't even have to worry about an Ernie. You just got to get the ball down and low because he's so far in the middle. They really are focusing on going to Eugenio. Eugenio not able to fight that one off. Back within one. Return sails long. We're knotted up at eight. Forcing the side out, but not before Bonard and Livernese Jr. tie it up. That's good pressure dink right there again. If Boner's going to go to Eugenio, she's got to pressure dink, not allow Eugenio to run around the forehand. And a quick, a quick side yeah, a quick out. side out. Another point as Bonard and Livernese Jr. have steadily worked their way back in. going off the edge guard and it's game point she gets a timeout here from Eugenio and Kazuda and again I think it was Eugenio played the ball that Kazuda yelled out on she plays it it goes back over it was almost like she stopped right and then she just gets handcuffed again and now it'll be Boner and leave her knees with the ball in hand and serving for game one What's the one thing that Kazuto and Eugenio need to do coming out of this timeout? They've gotten a little complacent. They've gotten into a slower game. They need to pick up the pace a little bit. And what Bonert's doing, she's pushing Eugenio out around that forehand, and they're getting sucked into that. And Eugenio's not pulling the trigger, and, and she needs to kind of look to be a little more aggressive. Not at Leverney's. I think Leverney's hands are too good right there to try and test him. But I, what I would do would be kind of go hard cross court with a nice dink to Bonert and then actually look for Kazuda to step in in the middle and try and speed something up. Richard Livernese Jr. said after their quarterfinal match that they want to have fun. Riley Bonert said, you know, Livernese Jr. always reminds me that the score is not the score. We're just out here. We're playing for fun. And I think you've seen that reflected after they took that first time out. And now they have worked themselves a game point here at 10-8 in our first mixed double semi. Couldn't make the pickup, but still second serve. Off the edge guard of Eugenio and Liberty's Jr. and Boner take game one, 11 8. We'll be back with game two after this. Less is more, less is less beer. They'll keep Greg active, involved, 
and mischievous and help make sure his happiness lives as long as he does. That's why the younger you are, the more you need AARP. It was probably the first session of the year I actually surfed by myself. And remember I turned around, I'm paddling for a wave and I just felt this like tug. And I was like, oh, maybe I just hit something and my fingers were sliced that my hand was cut. And I was like, whoa, I think, uh, I think it just got bit by a shark. I think it just got bit by a shark. Yeah, so I had to change a couple things, you know, like my grip and uh, it, it kind of had a little setback. I was trying to play after high school and ended up, uh, that stopped me. Pickleball has honestly changed my life. I mean, I was working 50, 60 hours on tennis court. At the end of the day, I'm like, you know, I love it, but am I going to be doing this for the rest of my life? And now pickleball, like, I feel like I've made more long-term relationships now in this sport than I ever did in tennis. That was our AARP Pickleball Stories with Brandon Lee. You can see the full version on YouTube. This is our AARP Match Spotlight. Marcelo Jorginho continuing his run of dominance, and it runs in the family. Wow, I mean, just coming out dominating on the senior circuit right now is Marcelo Jorginho looking so good, talking with Simone Jorginho, his sister, yesterday, and she was just so impressed with how well he was playing. And especially against in that final, she was talking about the guy he played against who was so good, but he just handled so well. Another championship for Jarjing. That has been what feels like a week in, week out inevitability on tour this season as Bonert and Livernese Jr. earn the side out to start game number two after they took game one, 11-8. Oh, the Ernie from Kazuda splits the middle. Well, nice job by Kazuda. Good read right there on the reset from Boner. But we're sitting on this sideline that Eugenio's on. Two of those balls, she could have went around the post from Boner, but she's not recognizing it. Livernese Jr. misses the third. When you're looking for an around the post, what should Eugenio be looking for? The pace of the ball off the paddle and the angle that it's coming from Boner. I believe her knees are sitter right there. Just goes a little wide. Doesn't miss right that one. down Broadway for Livernees Jr. Backhand action from Livernese Jr. to earn the side out. Eugenio looking down, going probably going out, but it was tough. Livernese was on top of it enough. I think it might have stayed in. Another missed third, second serve coming. A pair of missed thirds on their service side. Quick side out. Well, both Livernese and Bonert just standing straight up through that third. Livernese on a drive, Bonert on a drop. Just misses that sideline, does Kazuda. Goes inside out forehand, and because of the inside out nature of that shot, the ball hooks wide. And a great vantage point from where we are here in the booth. Going right at the right hip to earn the side out. Slow going here in the early stages of game two. about the defense, Kazuda all over it. And Livernese had an opening right there. He had the setup he looked for. He slid to the backhand and had the opening behind Kazuda, but just rushed it and missed it. Another er 
Facebook. Uh, Livernese Jr. thought he had the Ernie, but gets called for a foot fault. No point side out. I was just about to say he didn't miss that one, but he did with his footwork. Kazuda holds it on the paddle and slides the forehand winner down the line. Well, you see what Lieberniz does. He slides over to get that forehand. What he does, he hoods his paddle over. Kazuda knows where he's going with that. He's got to get his paddle a little more neutral and not as predictable in that moment. He's misplayed that second serve on the way. Livernese Jr. finds the angle on the overhead. Well, placement over power, good spot there from Livernese as he finds the angle to the sideline. We talk about that all the time with overheads. The angle is more important than the power behind it. 100%. You've got to find that angle because power is not going to work right there. Players at this level are going to be back sitting at the baseline, get everything back. Too wide. Second serve as Bonard and Livernese Jr. yet to be able to get on the board. <laughs> ATP from Bonert. There's the point. Well, again, that's a good read from read from Boner because Eugenio runs around this, hits a hard forehand with a very tight angle, and Boner reads it early and anticipates. Kazuda getting a little big, and we saw that from him on one point in game one, but that was the issue for Kazuda in game two of their quarterfinal match. Yeah, great job right there from... Richard Lieberniz just getting one more ball back over. That's all you need to do, get another back over, force him into a mistake. Another ATP shaped from Bonert. Just ball wide. Was, yeah, just wide from Bonert. She had the angle, but again, yeah, it just goes a little too hard instead of keeping that in. But two all. Point for Kazuda and Eugenio. And um, throughout that entire point, I was listening to Kazuda's shoes. You can hear his <laughs> footwork in the middle of a point. Yes. Right at the hip of Livernese Jr. So back to back points. It's 4 2. Great anticipation there from Kazuda. I like to see Bonert go behind Kazuda a couple times here. He's sitting so heavy in the middle. I think we're getting a timeout here from Boner and Lever Knees as Kazuda and Eugenio pulling a three point lead here in game number two. A three point run, another early timeout taken by Boner and Lever Knees Jr. And not quite the same score, but the same feel of game number one. They fell behind by five early. They took the early timeout, they regrouped. Slightly different situation. Game two, a little bit more pressure trying to make that semifinal. How do they regroup here? Well, right now, again, a great job, you know, by, by both teams. Again, putting pressure on. And right now, it's just a little bit of momentum shift to Kazuda and Eugenio. Bonert and Lieberniz, I'd like to see them get some points under control again. We're getting a little hectic right now. You're saying it, talking about the screeching of Kazuda's shoes. He's very active right now, and that's what they need to stop. How do you stop that? Hit to where he's supposed to be. Just hit to his side, right? And then it doesn't make him as big in the middle. Hit to his side, keep him honest, and just and keep him still rather than letting him be active. When he's active and stepping in front of Eugenio, that's when chaos is being created. When he's on his side, chaos isn't being created. He's really dinking that ball back over. 
I need you to stop answering all my questions before I ask them. <laughs> that was like three answers in one. I appreciate the, hey, the insight. We're, you know, we're on the same page. You know that. <laughs> you do. know that. Always. It's frightening. It is. It is. We've been around each other <laughs> long enough. Back to play. Eugenio and Kazuda leading 5-2. Make it 6-2 as Bonert can't make the pickup. That is the ball I want Boner to hit right there. I want her to go right there. She's got to make that. If she makes that, then they're set up nicely. Kazuda stepping across, but somehow Livernese Jr. finds the edge. That's where Kazuda's supposed to be. So hit it to where he's supposed to be. Get it there. Just get it to his <laughs> side. Livernese Jr. probably wanted to hit it there with a little bit more margin. Yeah. A side out. Trailing by four here in game number two. Riley Bone at Richard Livernese Jr. took game one 11 to eight. Second serve coming. There it was again, back behind Kazuda. That entire side of the court was open. Sometimes. You know Lane, what you're talking about? Sometimes. Just sometimes. Oh, it is a rare occurrence. But that is a great stick volley there from Livernese going right back behind Kazuda, who is pinching very hard in the middle. Too much off of the paddle, and Bonert and Livernese Jr. are within two. Nice talk right there from Bonert, letting Livernese know not to play that ball, saying it's out. Good partner communication. I put my hands up in the middle of that point because Eugenio had an ATP like no other. She didn't go with it. Ball just got a little bit behind Bonert's side out, but not before they make a two-point run on second serve. Six, four, one. Trying to do a little bit too much there, second serve. Six, four, two. Another point as Bonert can't make the pickup. Three-point advantage. Yeah. Drive from Bonert. Flies wide off the paddle of Eugenio. Side out. Great return right there from Kazuda. Putting Livernese on his heels, trying to hit that third shot. Another Rush. miss there. That's the f at least the fourth in this game alone. Yeah, they've missed a lot of third shots here, not even giving an opportunity. Not missing high, they're missing low into the net. Good effort from Kazuda. Couldn't get there on the drop shot. Kazuda steps across but pushes the inside out forehand wide. So Boner and Livernese Jr. hold to get back on serve. I don't think Kazuda thought he was going to have that easy of a ball right there. And then he ends up pushing it because he had an easy ball. Another third. That's... Three straight thirds missed. When Richard and Riley go back and watch this match, because they will, and they'll chart it, they're going to really see how many thirds they miss and these opportunities. Yeah. 
dots the back corner for the backhand winner. Nice job by Leverniz holding his ground right there. Eugenio trying to do something down the line, but Leverniz reads it perfectly. Back within two. There's Kazuda overruns it. I mean, there's no need for that. That was just that was just chaotic, to, to say the least. Too on that chaotic. Shot. Yeah, I mean, he was jumping from almost the center line, trying to go over and try and do something right there. I know that's what got him there, but that's a point where just you got to let that go. You weren't going to do anything with that ball. Back-to-back -back points for Bonard and Livernese Jr. They're back within one, trailing a 6-7-2 as Kazuda and Eugenio take a timeout. So trying to slow the momentum of Boner and Leverniz down are Kazuda and Eugenio. They seem to get back into some points here. Start creating on their own. Don't overcreate like Kazuda tried to on that last point. But again, nice job by Boner and Leverniz getting back in this. Even with you know all the missed thirds, they're only one point down. I wanted to continue the conversation about the missed thirds because you don't know how those points would have played out. However, you have to make your opponent play. You can't just give them free opportunities. Correct. Too many people think that because you're serving, you have a disadvantage. You don't have a disadvantage because technically you're on offense, they're on defense, right? They have the advantage in the point because they're up at the kitchen line. But you have the advantage because you're on offense. They can't score. You have to make your thirds. Boner can't make the pickup, so a side out out of the timeout with Kazuda and Eugenio leading by one. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah Kazuda's trying to say it doesn't matter. Or he's saying, who hit the ball? doesn't yeah. matter because the paddle got lost into the net. Uh, that is That's more like a, a launch as opposed to a lost in the net. Yeah. Kazuda and Eugenio both going up well, for the overhead. What was lost in that was an absolutely incredible I know by all four players. Paddle got loose in the net. Hands battle. These last two points have been ridiculous. Call stands just wide. Point for Kazuda and Eugenio. Oh, the touch from Livernese Jr. How about that? Yeah, that's tough right here. Again, he creates the angle. Good job of squaring up to the ball right there and getting that ball down. I'm loving the Livernese. effort from Kazuda, though. Yeah, he's playing really well. Everywhere on the court. <laughs> Kazuda going at the feet of Livernese Jr. A way to set his feet by Kazuda. Anticipating the speed up here from Livernees. <laughs> what a reset from Livernees. As Kazuda's full attack mode, Livernees just resets it right back in the kitchen. Kazuda was not expecting it. Driving Boner back to earn the side out. The level of play over the last few points after that timeout has risen tremendously. Oh, yeah, 100%. Much cleaner right now. Yeah. 
As soon as I say that, <laughs> Kazuda dumps the ball in the net. That's my bad, Kyle. You've been all about the broadcaster jinx today. Except for my pick from earlier That on. is true. You were right on the money. We'll get to see them coming up next. It's Christine Maddox and Max Manthau. Oh, oh Kazuda oh. finds some space for the forehand winner. What a hands battle up at the kitchen line between Lever Knees and Kazuda. And then Kazuda finds some space, like you said, behind Lever Knees. Livernese Jr. pulls the trigger and gets the winner side out. Bonert forces right here a decision from Eugenio whether to let that ball bounce or take it out of the air. Last second she takes it out of the air, pops it up, and Richard Livernese all over it in the middle. I'm telling Bonert, let's have some fun with it as he's on serve, trailing by two. Drive from Boner catches Eugenio on her heel, heels. They're within one. Love the firepower here and excitement from Boner. Absolutely love it. Got to get fired up here. Trying to move on to Championship Sunday. Riley Boner does have a gold medal on Championship Sunday in Chicago Indoor with Simone Jarjeng. Too strong. Second serve. Too much off the backhand side, side out. Kazuda and Eugenio lead by one. Ball was close, but was in. Livernese, I thought, was trying to, or almost thought it was going to go wide. I thought he showed a lot of patience letting once that ball bounced and he saw that it was in, not trying not to rushing. rush his next yeah, shot. 100%. Livernese Jr. can't make the pickup, and it's game point. Just want Livernese to push that. As he runs over and almost hoods that paddle over to pull it back, inside out push that down the line. Good return there from Boner, driving Eugenio back to get back on serve. Down two. Strong ball through the middle from Kazuda. Yeah, nice spot here for Kazuda. Instead of trying to really over hit this, he hits a spot, splits the difference between Livernese and Bonert. Stepped across, but sails wide. Bonert yelling at Livernese, don't hit it. He didn't. <laughs> He wanted to, but he didn't. Well, for a second, I thought I heard her say hit it, and I was like, no. No, 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 no <laughs> don't hit it. 9-10-2. Elevated ball makes for the easy put away for Kazuda, and they will have game point number two. That's in two. <laughs> Deep 
defense kept them in. Kazuda gets them the point. We will go to game three. One apiece here in our mixed doubles semi. More action after this. What do you talk about? The news? The sports? A little family gossip, maybe? Nah, you don't do that, right? Well, here's another topic for you. As they get older, their risk of getting really sick from a respiratory virus like flu, COVID-19, or RSV goes up a lot. So talk to them about getting the season's vaccines because you've still got so much to talk about. It's hard to find supplements that work. No, thank you. You need supplements that are backed by science with natural and plant-based ingredients and that are third-party tested. Because cleaner is better. Like Oro Organic. <sighs> Plant-based supplements made from the Earth's most powerful plants for your immune health, gut health, workouts, and more. Find out more at AuraOrganic.com. People play pickleball for exercise, competition, or to hang out with friends. What your reason is doesn't matter to Gamma. What matters is that you play, that you enjoy playing with passion, and you have so much fun you can't wait to play again. At Gamma, we offer paddles perfect for all levels, including yours, because pickleball is about you, the player, and what feels right. Pickleball is your game. Make Gamma your paddle. Play to live. Live to play. Gamma Pickleball. The APP is sponsored by Sports Illustrated, official ticketing partner of the APP Tour. Franklin X40, official ball of the APP Tour. And La Victoria brand salsa, Mexican flavor, raised in L.A. Kazuda and Eugenio battling their way back to force a decisive game three. This point, ridiculous. I mean, just utter chaos here. The fact that right now you're looking at this point, Eugenio and Kazuda win this point. They were on their heels behind the baseline and then come out on top here. Incredible win, forcing game number three here on championship court with a spot in championship Sunday on the line. Every match for Kazuda and Eugenio has gone the distance today. Oh. oh, Bonert had it and got big. Hey, he's hey, back. I'm back. Yeah. He's back. Welcome it's back, It's a match brother. so good <laughs> that Chad Edwards came back from his break. I mean, he was sitting behind here in the booth. You might as well just jump in, put your headset on. Well, Went for the well, Ernie and literally put it on the tee. So but we walked back in, Chad walked back in, and Chad's like, I've been telling, like, just sitting there watching, and he's like, they just got to go where Kazuda's supposed to be. And I'm like, wow. I'm like, <laughs> you think him and I have the same brain or well, what? Even, oh even I've been saying it for two games. Even, even right there. Okay, so, yeah, bonus going to change direction and go down the line. Kazuda's going to Ernie. Be aggressive. Just go right into the body and hit him while he's going for the Ernie. I, Kazuda's creating chaos. That one sails long off the paddle. Second serve on the way with a two-point lead here in game number three of our first mixed doubles semifinal. Missed return, another point. Big serve there from Kazuda. We saw that in the last quarterfinal with Christine Maddox. Huge serve. Got her some free points. Ooh, Eugenio had the ball right there. We saw that in the quarterfinal as well when she got a one-hand backhand there. And rather than rolling it, she just punches at it with the open face. Nice 
nice spot from Eugenio. Well, before Boner could do anything with that ball, Eugenio started it. That's a good spot for her. Another missed third, and Dom, um, that got lost in the defense towards the end of game number two, but those missed thirds, again, you don't know how they would have turned out, but they, they were missed opportunities. Five-hole winner from Liberty's Junior. Well, Boner fired up right here again. She did a good job going back behind Kazuda, but then great spot there from Liberty's inside out forehand down the sideline for the winner. Ooh, just a little too deep there from Eugenio. Going for a little extra on the sub. A service error gives it back over to Boner and Liberty's Junior. They took game number one, 11 8. Game number two went the way of Kazuda and Eugenio, 11 9. Oh. What? what? <laughs> he's here, he's there, he's everywhere. He's Kyle Kazuda, but it's Livernese Jr. that you gets the winner. You Dr. Seuss? I mean. <laughs> You can't fault Kazuda for putting, <laughs> literally just the movement, his movement yeah. is putting pressure on Livanese and, and Bona, and they're playing a little tight with how much he's moving around. Another missed third, second serve. Big dry forehand cross court winner from Bonert. Nice step in there from Bonert again. This mid court out of the air volley. And again, it's a good spot right there. She goes to the backhand side of Eugenio. Too strong from Kazuda. We're tied at three. Timeout taken by Kazuda and Eugenio as we are tied at three early on here in game number three. What's each one of yours takeaways of how game three has started? Well, the difficulty here right now for Kazuda is how much work he has done in the first two games. You, know, you keep pushing the limit. You keep moving to your max. It then comes into question how much stamina does he have yeah. to be able to keep moving that much and, and really putting the pressure on. We saw in that last one where even if you're just a s half a step late and the paddle face is open rather than closed and you're a little bit more extended, much more difficult to control the ball. So, you know, it's it's almost – Eugenio is doing a great job playing her role and Kazuda's cr you know, creating the chaos. But if he starts slowing down, then there's a little bit of an issue. For me, it's just – keep the chaos but it's got to be organized chaos yeah you can't go crazy we saw him in game two get a little out of character they come out on top but again he's got to create chaos but it's got to be organized and under control to a point chad i'm going to play devil's advocate with you is there a case to be potentially made for continuing to make kazoo to move to potentially tire him out absolutely absolutely <laughs> absolutely and and like dom, dom said you know what he was talking about in in one and two games one and two is Yo, hit it where Kazuda's supposed to be. Right. Make him move back yep. to the spot. Make him take extra steps. What Bonard and Livanese can't do is what they just did there is, is they're continuing to miss thirds. Ooh, you know. <laughs> Nicely shaped ATP from Boner. And you heard Kazuda right there as it hit his paddle make it. Read it well, just a little too much angle. Point for Kazuda off of the paddle of Boner into the net. Well, that's a good drive from Kazuda. He keeps it nice and low, creates some shape. 
It's below the net when Bonert's trying to hit that. Oh, oh two yeah. missed returns. Pair of missed returns have given Kazuda and Eugenio a two point lead. Missed the ATP and Bonard and Livernese Jr. very vocal. But that's what we haven't seen from Livernese is the two hand backhand roll. It pulls Kazuda out wide and he's there, but his legs are getting tight. Livernese Jr. puts it away, strong forehand. Again, we saw. In game number two, we were right down this line, and Eugenio had about four ATPs that would have been clean shots, and she is not looking for it at all, and there's probably another one right there. Livernese Jr. trying to go back behind. Kazuda missed the third. Finds the right hip. We are tied at five. And good ball movement there from Livanese and, and Bonet. Kazuda got just a little flat footed there. Yeah, I'm not going to get that. <laughs> nice, nice angle. Touch <laughs> to get back on serve. <laughs> Chad calling it early. Not going to get there. Nice. Bonert sliding it down the line. But that's just great control from Bonert right there because, again, that's an easy ball to really pull wide, but she doesn't get too big on that. Great job by Riley Bonert. Yeah, that's... Down the middle, 50% ball into the end change with Kazuda and Eugenio leading. But that's exactly what Kazuda and Eugenio want. They want to bait bowling it into trying to take that cross court back to Eugenio and Kazuda's just going to sit middle and then feed that next ball through. So what should Boner do instead? Well, in that situation, you know, when you have an aggressive guy, you have to make a ball bounce. You can't look at, hey, I'm going to get this back to the girl. I'm going to keep her deep when the guy's already moving forward. So it's either make that ball bounce out wide or make that ball bounce back down the line rather than trying to be aggressive and, and really trying to take that back. This one has been tightly contested all the way. Game one, 11-8. Game two, 11-9. Currently 6-5 at the end change. Fellas, we've talked about this throughout the day in these tight matches, the difference, the execution, mm -hmm. the thirds. For yeah. Bonert and Livernese Jr., they continue to pile up. And they lost game two, 11-9. They missed a lot of thirds if we go back and chart that At second least game. four late. Right. This one, they're in it right here. Again, it's going to be come down to, like we talk about all the time, it's execution. Who can execute here at the end? Who does the small things in the big moments? That's big. Slapped. <laughs> That's big right there. <laughs> and see, that's a much better ball there from Bono. She right. doesn't try and keep Eugenio back. She pulls that ball wider. It's out of the reach of Kazuda. And then Eugenio's moving up and ends up popping that ball up. Yes. Eugenio can't make the pickup, and we are tied at six. Oh, right now, you're just feeling. There's a little tightness yep. setting in. <laughs> we, like, finish each other's sentences, too. I love it. I'm going to take you to J.C. Like Penny for a family we shoot. A family yeah. picture. <laughs> My brother from another mother. Yeah, good balls there from Kazuda. 
Inside out forehand is a thing of beauty. Second serve on the way, six all. Third and decisive game. Coming back with interest off the battle of Livernese Jr. Yeah, that's nice right there. Good, aggressive play, finding the shins of Eugenio. Overran it just a little bit. Good ball from Eugenio, putting the pressure back on Livanese after the third shot draw it. First time in this game, Eugenio and Kazuda have trailed. Ooh, again. Yeah, it's just right now, Eugenio just a little tight right here, and Kazuda trying to get her back in this. But if I'm Bonert and Livanese, that's like blood in the water. As she hits away out of it. That's what we talk about, right? If you're struggling, swing yep. away. And that's one thing that we have seen from Eugenio that is one of her strengths is that drive. Missed ball from Kazuda. Side out. It's seven all. Oh, the slowest serve. A little off-speed action, missed return, pushes Boner and Livernese Jr. back in front. Oh, Boner needs to take that out of the air. Come in and attack it. <laughs> Pressure from Livernese Jr. at the kitchen line. It's a two-point lead. Pull, pull. Pull. Just continue to just shoot that right there and just put Kazuda in an uncomfortable position. And they are up by two, two points away, and I believe they're still on first server here. They are on first serve. Kazuda and Eugenio have taken a timeout as they have seen their lead dissipate. They are up by as many as three. It was nip and tuck. Now they trail by two. What should the conversation be in the corner of Eugenio and Kazuto. Get it back under control. Right now, Livernese and Bonard are creating the chaos, right? It's whoever can create that first is getting the advantage because it's putting their opponents on their heels right now. And Bonard and Livernese are doing a really good job of controlling that. And so I like their energy. Eugenio and Kazuta got to do something here to change that, maybe attack a little bit. But again, you don't want to get into too much trouble here because the issue is, it's only two points away. You don't have much room for error here. Boner just moving through. Still second serve on the way. Yeah, and, that, and that's the right play right there. But Boner, like you said, Dorian, caught with the feet moving. Oh, Kazuda went up for the overhead, put it in the net. It is match point. Whoa. Oh, oh my gosh. That's Could the one. Oh my gosh. Livernese Jr. and Bonert are into Championship Sunday for the first time as a mixed doubles pair. We will hear from them when we come back here at the Al APV Newport Beach Open. <laughs>
hard to find supplements that work. No, thank you. You need supplements that are backed by science with natural and plant-based ingredients and that are third-party tested. Because cleaner is better. Like Aura Organic. Plant-based supplements made from the Earth's most powerful plants for your immune health, gut health, workouts, and more. Find out more at AuraOrganic.com. In this city, flavor is a way of life. And every dish is a work of art. La Victoria, inspired by LA Flavor since 1917. And here is game point here for Boner and Livernees. I mean, just like everything, Chad, that whole game, it was tight. Thought Kazuda in. Well, we thought the point was over right here, and then Eugenio resets that ball and then goes into the net. But the pressure that Livanese and Bonnet were able to put on down the stretch and really went actually went at Kazuda was what got them through. We'll throw it down to Dorian Croft, who's courtside for our Franklin post match interview. Thanks, guys. Riley, Richard, you guys are moving on to Championship Sunday. Congratulations. That was a well played and tough fought match. Riley, Kyle, Kyle Kazuda was creating a lot of chaos around the kitchen line. He was moving, he was applying pressure. How did you guys withstand that? Um, I mean, Richard kind of told me to just not look at him. So I kind of <laughs> just pictured him not there and just looked at the ball. But I also want to say a big thank you to all my supporters. My best friend Brooke and Jaden were here and then my dad's friend Matt and Eva and it was just great to have them here. Richard, the last two matches you have complimented Riley. You called her your queen after the quarterfinal. This time you said you picked me up. What is it about Riley's game that complements her so well? Yeah, I think um, I think she's a little more fiery than me. So I think sometimes um, if I miss a ball or two, she's just there to be like, come on, right now, right now. And it makes me feel like I'm going to make the next ball. Um, yeah, so it was just, it's easy out there. She gets everything and she's a beast. So it was a ton of fun playing with her. And they played awesome. And I'm just happy to get to play more pickleball. So. I'm sure you guys are going to bring the fire and the fun on Championship Sunday. Congratulations. We will see you in the gold medal match to find out who they're going to face on Championship Sunday. Stay with us. Our second mixed double semifinal is coming up next. <laughs> 